and let the action begin. It's time for the Yamaha BMX Super Cup, day number one of Division Streetwear, ABA Grand Nationals of BMX, and we've got a festive crowd, Dean Bradley. We certainly do, Scott. Some 5,000 people here to see the top eight professional riders in the nation battling for Williams Arcade Games up to these Yamaha motorcycles. And there was 60, over 60 riders coming out to battle tonight. We're down to the final eight. Who are your favorites, Dean? Well, one of my favorites has got to be the world champion, Gary Ellis. Also, Harry Leary, some 15-year veteran of the BMX Wars. This, the, tonight is rumored to be his last race of his career, and don't ever discount Rick Palmer. He's a tough one, too. The Skyway killer, Rick Palmer. But, you know, I'm going to go with two of the young upstarts. There's flying Brian Lopes riding for Elf, and, of course, the only privateer out here riding for Pedal Power Cycling, Billy Harrison. Let's get to the action now. They're up on the gate for the Yamaha Super Cup. The gate's down. Rick Palmer gets the whole shot. Climber nearly jams it and falls over. Brian Lopes on the inside going in the first turn. Whoa, Hans Neeson takes over the lead from the second position. It's Hans Neeson, Brian Lopes, Rick Palmer going into turn three. Palmer going high, taking over the second spot. Whoa, Harry Lear goes down, takes the crowd with him. It's Hans Neeson, Rick Palmer, the Skyway rider, and Brian Lopes taking it out, stretching it down into the second to last turn. Palmer trying to set up for a pass. Here he comes, tries to get it. Oh, he almost goes down. Hans Neeson coming into the last turn, still has the lead. Rick Palmer two, Brian Lopes three. That's the way they're going to finish. Neeson, Palmer, and Lopes with Gary Ellis coming across fourth and Todd the Cowboy Slavic coming across number five. On the gate, the 14-year-old cruisers, these are a few national contenders for the cruiser title. In gate number one, that's Frank Delgado riding for Diamondback. Gate number two, Jeff Milford. Gate number three, Nick Libertor riding for Boss. He is a national contender. Gate number four, Mike Luna. Gate number five, Gary Gines. Gate number six, that's Brian Givens riding for MXR. And in gate number seven, we've got Eric Jensen. And on the outside, John Ruda. Who are your choices, Dean Bradley? Watch the number three in four, four spots, Nick Libertor and Mike the Lunatic Luna. They are arch rivals. Luna, while he is not in the hunt for the cruiser title, could give Libertor some serious grief in this race. Keep an eye. Number three, number the four. The lights five. go down, the gate's gone. It's Delgado on the inside having some problems. Libertor stumbles on a triple up jump. He's all the way back in the seventh, eighth position. He's having some real problems. Number 11 out in front, Brian Gibbons riding for Chase is up in the air. Nick Libertor is out of the hunt. 15-year-old cruiser class is up on the line. Other national contenders going for the cruiser number one title at the ABA Grand Nationals of BMX. Gate number one, this is Brian Calgrove. Number two, Michael Carver. Gate number three, Michael Hutt. Gate number four, G.J. Francis. Jeff Evans in position number five. Excuse me, that's Jason Richardson. Charlie Davison in number six. Jeff Evans again at number seven, and in gate eight, Marty Chrisman on the far outside for the free agent Vision Streetwear team. Scott, two of my favorites have got to be Charlie and Harley Davidson in that number six slot, as well as Marty Chrisman in the number eight. Both are in the points run. The gate eight's going to be tough for Chrisman. He's pulling it out. He's looking like he's in third. Charlie Davidson out in the lead. This could be the national title run for him. Chrisman moves on the inside. Charlie was tangled up in that second berm, and as you can see, Chrisman stretching his lead out. Marty Chrisman, Yvonne's got to be happy, the owner of Free Agent. Here comes a big winner, possibly the national championship. Marty Chrisman in first, number 14 is going to take that second. Jason Richardson and Hop in third. Let's see a replay of that pileup. Oh, Christman, he's out in the lead. This is the second turn. As the riders go down, it's a pileup. It's, again, the loose dirt on the inside of the track. You can take a look at it, Scott. The rider came underneath Davidson, and he goes down there in the number third slot. Bright blue jersey. Tough break for Davidson. 
scary to believe that a year long of racing Dean Bradley can go away in a quick 30 second splash. 15, 16 year old experts, cruiser class on the gate, position number one, flying Brian Hernandez, one of the smoothest jumpers in the world, riding for SNM. Position gate number two, Wailing Galen Starlin, riding for free agent. Number three position is going to be Giorgio Bale. Gate number four, James Stibler. Gate number five, Shelby the Rocket James, riding for Mongoose out of Florida, four time world champion himself. Gate number six has got to be Chad Hubbard. And here's number seven, Bubba McIntosh, riding for the new boss team. And in the lane eight, the lane of despair, Chris Ham. Scott, my favorite in this race has absolutely got to be Shelby James. This kid's unbelievable. Comes to a championship, he wants it, he goes out and just gets it. Kid's an animal. Out of the gate, James. James on the outside, Waylon Galen on the inside. Look at James take a couple extra cranks. He's on that factory mongoose. He's booking and cooking. Heading into the second turn. Sure enough, your prediction come true. Shelby James out there. Great move by James on that second straightaway. He just came right over on Starlin. Starlin could have nowhere to go, and there he goes, stretching out his lead. Great ride by Shelby James. Bubba McIntosh is blasted out of the pack. He's after Waylon Galen Starlin. He at least wants up into that second spot for Beckham Boss. It's going to be Shelby James taking the win of this national event and possibly the national title. Really was Shelby that. James out of Florida has come to take the National Cruiser title. Clayton John, president of the ABA, presented the award. This has got to be quite a day for Shelby James. He's always been the bridesmaid. He, he actually moved up a class this year. He's, he's larger than the competition. His father is six foot, six feet tall. And again, as we mentioned, he's an aspiring pro basketball player. Mom has come out to this event. Dad, Rocky, the 6'6 giant, has had to stay home because his brother's playing ball. We'll be back with more after this.